Hello, my name is Hans Carlsson and I'm going to do a little demonstration of how I'm building this site in Rapid Weaver, which is uh, an application for the Mac. And uh, I'm going to show you how I build a simple page very quickly, which is uh, the advantage, I think, of this application, which is also quite affordable. Um, you can build everything offline uh, on your own computer it's very fast and very intuitive and then you just upload to the server when you're ready so in many ways it's uh, it's faster and easier than to do it on a, an online service for instance like uh, square space or something like that and it's also a lot more easier a lot easier than uh, more complicated software like uh, Dreamweaver, for instance. So I'll show you how to build a page here. You got, uh, I've got all the pages uh, running up here on the site already. And uh, here on uh, this uh, step one, Rapid Weaver intro, uh, now I'm going to put this um, recording later on. But uh, just for a test, I'm going to show you how to put up uh, an image and a little bit of a text to go with it very quickly so we'll start with the image and uh, I've got something here from uh, from the site that I'm building let me see here now well anything we'll do we'll do we'll do this uh, nice little picture of uh, a yaktori cook and I've got the image here now we have put in uh, an uh, image element here as you see and we can do a preview and we see how the page is looking and the other elements are already provided by the framework so I haven't done anything really to create these things just put in the title and the, my picture and everything and everything is automatically laid out all the links are drawn and all that so this is how the page looks now. I could publish publish this and have this up in in an instant. But uh, just to show you a little bit more of how it works, let's do something more. Let's take uh, a bit of text here and text element from the stacks here and put it underneath. And it will automatically put in some Latin for me to show how things work. Um, let's also... Well, if I have a look here in the preview, you see that it's, well, looks okay, but it's kind of sparse. So let's go back to edit and uh, let's put in an HTML element as well. So I'll just do, uh, I'll just do a simple, straightforward line to make a, that's it. Sorry for that. Uh, to separate the image better from the text. So I've got some ordinary, very, very simple HTML, just one tag. And have a look here. And we see we have this tag, uh, the HR tag. And now it puts a, a separator between the image and the text. And let's style it a little bit more so we can. We can go to the image, and then you see it through the, through the right here we have uh, settings. So we can, for instance, do a colored background of the image. So we see here it's a gray image now, kind of not too clever, is it? So we'll go back and uh, we'll. Um, We'll change this uh, layout to flexible, and then we'll do a width, go down a little bit here. You see how everything works visually. And then maybe we can do a, let's say we do a border with a different color. We can take a color from the picture here. So let's go up to the color here under the image, and we can just use the color element here to other pick one color from any of these things here, or we can just pick something from the image itself. So, color picker here, 
let's do something from his shirt maybe something nice something dark maybe like that hmm. is that nice maybe change it go back and do something something from that instead hmm. wow so so oh we can do something there maybe oh maybe that's better okay and we can of course change the settings there a bit uh, hmm. something like that okay let's have a look at that uh-huh but it's a little bit tight there around the corners and so on so let's put in a little bit of a margin or these things are very sort of tricky to do or time consuming if you do them by hand but some margin some padding there and we can even do the same thing with the text perhaps put in a color there as well background we have background there now we can do the same color as uh, as we had before so we just go to the color picker and pick from there so okay but that's not very good because the text will not be invisible almost so we go back we do something else we do uh, we do a very light background perhaps there okay and we can put in a little bit of a border perhaps and round the corners a bit like that and maybe we'll have it a little bit a little bit tighter like that and a margin oh let's have a look at that hmm well something so and uh, let's do a flexible instead for the centering or flexible layout so we'll do tighten up a little bit under the, the picture and well got something there something's going on maybe a little bit of a more more border there so he will have a nicer frame something like that okay so he will have a page all i have to do now is just to publish the thing and it will be live on on the site and this is how i'm building the site I can finish uh, one site like this in uh, just a few hours and uh, looks pretty great and it works great on SiteGround as well. So that's a short intro. See you later in the next movie.